Hello and welcome to Legacy Charlotte here in the Arca series. New week on iRacing and doing the first time slot of the week, as I like to do here in Arca. Uh, you got your cast of characters here, <laughs> including myself as the number four, as we head into qualifying. A lot of the usual names and your usual strong field, although I thought maybe it'd be even stronger since this is, you know, notoriously free track <laughs> and uh, usually that can make the participation go skyrocket but it's actually maybe just a tiny bit lower than it has been the last couple of weeks at uh, 3.9k strength of field which you know is nothing to sneeze at to be to be clear but four car instead of the nine car or eleven car which I feel like I have been in recent weeks. Green flag, green flag. So that's okay. interesting. I'm thinking the second lap is going to be the faster lap here, but I don't really want to just throw away my first lap either. So we'll uh, put some decent corners in, probably run a little higher in turns three and four, just to give myself a better run to the line. I don't really think the high line really works there, but doing like a higher entry, maybe getting a better run through there might work. Hold position. That was at All right, make it through turns one and two. A little bit better than my optimal. Have we for three and four. Make sure we get it to the bottom, let it rotate. Get it all the way to the bottom, and that's an all-time best at a 3.57, but not enough to even get top three at the moment. So we'll see what that ends up looking like. But I uh, feel like I at least hit my marks, did the best I could do with what I had. Maybe if I had gone down a little lower, pushed a little harder, I don't know. It's pretty loose down there, but maybe that's where the speed is. Because you get a lot of your turn down low, it feels like. Down at that bottom line. So maybe that's what I need to do more of. Let's push it through there. So it gets sideways. And uh, as a result, the way that the car gets loose down there, I think that's where I'm going to try to be during uh, the race as well. Slowing down much more on entry, of course, but then kind of uh, getting the car yawed on the low line, by the line, by the white line. Let's see if we can't uh, save some tire. We'll see how it goes. P5 right now, Larry on pole. So you can see the current standings right there. Night race here at Lowe's Motor Speedway, also known as Charlotte. <laughs> no longer Lowe's, I guess. But it would have been Lowe's at the uh, at the time of this Legacy track, right? I don't remember when they changed it. but Or, you know, how old the Legacy track is exactly. I don't know if it would be Lowe's at this time, but... It's fun to call it Lowe's. That's what I grew up hearing it called. Not to be confused with your local hardware store. Huh. He's six. He's up another spot. And we are ready to go here. I got my brakes all the way back, but I'm not sure if we're going to end up using them. I think it's just going to be big lifts in order to uh, work on the tires. We don't get to see what the uh, tires were after that, but probably not too great on the right front. I wasn't trying all that hard to save, but we actually tied with the 13 and dropped another spot after I guess we just got overtaken. So in uh, P8 qualifying effort, very, very close times. Funny to see you back here, Austin. It never, never failed. failed. Oh, yeah. Never Good luck out there to Jaco.
Last week, of course, Dover, we had the mega wreck at Dover. Everybody from behind me caught up in it. Hopefully we don't get another major wreck this time. Once you go, next time by, line up on the outside, closed, pit road is closed. So it can be a little bit narrow at Charlotte as well. I think we can do it, I think we can have a good run. We're going to try to get to the bottom as soon as we can. But we are starting on the outside. We're going to try to save some tire, 40 laps here, with a guarantee of obviously no cautions in the Garka series. Gonna try to get to get it to the bottom, get the car rotating, not overdrive entry, and uh, see where it takes us. You don't get any Hopefully the guys behind don't get over eager as I'm saving and uh, my, my rear end. Not great. I'm seeing a lot of uh, good drivers around us though. Drivers I've raced before, and according to Race Lab, have some good safety ratings in the A4 point etc range so I think we can have a good race I believe I hope I'm not wrong but I'm gonna choose to be optimistic Larry and Paul will be watching get a launch tires are gonna be a little bit slippery on the cold side of things. JP, when was the last time you were with us on Monday night? Uh, last week when I wrecked the field. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Sorry about that. Uh, my bad. That one wasn't your call, though. That wasn't that good. I agree with that assessment. Chief Jordan, so rude. Second gear start, it feels like. Getting ready to get started. Here we go. Ice car is off. Be ready. Green, 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 green. Looks like we're actually going to get clear right away, which is awesome. Didn't really want to dive it in on him there. We had a good start, looks like. A big lift off as we're entering shallow. And hey, we gained two spots right off the rip. Got to the bottom like I wanted. Happy about that. Just keep switching around a little bit. I don't really want to get to the inside yet. Don't really want to be forcing things early on. I want to save the tires because if we fight the whole darn race for P5, we're never going to get anywhere. Not even P5, I guarantee you, because we both kill our tires. So. We're just going to take it easy. Try to get the thing rotating. Lewandowski seems to be going about the same pace I plan to right now, so that's good with me. Try to keep the wheel as straight as possible. And uh, I think we're in a good spot here. I'm, I'm liking where we're, we're running. Got people I can trust around me, which means I can save tires how I wish. Even if JP wants to get around, I think uh, we can get that done without much issue. Feels like the track's got a ton of grip with uh, the cool temperatures. I feel like normally I would be getting kind of a uh, loose mid corner there and it feels like it's just really gripping up to the track so that's interesting wow they're really fighting hard up there I hope they don't end up piling into each other Sixth place. Ooh, 
Not enough of a run to go for anything there. Gonna be patient. Seemed he got checked up a little bit, perhaps. Not enough for me to feel like I needed to f force anything. Being able to do some big lifts off right now, which I enjoy having the luxury of doing. Everybody uh, nose to tail at the moment. down at the bottom doing what I need to do see if any of the guys ahead end up falling off at all oh we're hitting walls that could happen too not sure if that was a real hit or a netcode predicted hit scary nonetheless makes your heart skip a beat Speaking of nervous, speaking of frightening, I'm watching those two guys up there, that neon green, the purple, they're racing each other pretty close. I'm thinking they might be burning their tires off a little bit more. Those might be guys we have the opportunity to pass later on if they keep at it like that. But we'll see. I could be wrong. It could be one of those races where a tire wear doesn't seem to matter too much. But wow, they are not giving each other much room at all. You know, with these Arca car bodies, even the slightest touch will send the car spinning around. So I'm definitely keeping my eyes open at that. And Gaski going to the inside of the nine. I wonder if I'm going to be able to follow him through. Great to have that chance. can open that door and that's a door we don't have to bother opening later I don't think he's gonna get it done nine holding on tough on that outside lots of grip out there it seems like Getting a little sideways. The nine's getting more sideways, though. He got loose, and that's going to bring us to his inside. Hold us tight. Can we clear him? It's going to be a work in progress. don't want to use up my tires too much doing it. I think we should be able to just gradually work our way by. Being patient. Letting it happen. Still holding us very tight out there. Making me nervous. Holding us incredibly tight. Outside is clear. Just able to clear him. And then JP's gonna follow us through. So he benefits from that as well. I think the eight might be falling off a little bit from fighting so hard on the outside. Wasn't great that we had to do that, but I didn't uh I didn't push too hard to get it done. Just let it gradually happen over the course of a couple laps. Just so hopefully we didn't hurt the right front too much while doing that. Our still feels pretty good to me. Getting slightly 
uh, more understeer as it goes on, but that's just what's going to happen. No matter what you do. They're still fighting hard up there, it looks like. JP's actually got a bit of a run on us. I think I'll let him go. We've got some space behind. He's uh, fighting him. Well, the only thing that's going to get done there is that guy behind us. The aide's going to get back to us while we're side by side. We could end up getting freight trained. Our tires are going to get worn off worse. So I think the best thing to do there was just to let him by. Keep working on saving our tires. We're not even halfway through this thing yet. And uh, we're not going to get stuck with uh, the, another guy on our inside or anything. Or wasting any time trying to fight off a battle that I don't think was going to get won. P6 right now, that's feeling pretty good. That pinkish purple car laying down up there, looks like he's on the inside of Lewandowski. I didn't even notice that until now. Looks like they're clear again. It'll be really interesting. I think within the next five to ten laps is when we're going to really start seeing who did a better job with saving tires. It's going to really start uh, showing up, I think. And there's still plenty of race to go after that, so thinking it's going to be a, an important race to be good at the tires, just with how the car's feeling right now and how far along we are in the race, or even uh, how not far along we are in the race. I might start using a little bit of brake on entry to three. The car's binding up a little bit as we head through there. Might benefit us. The nine's gonna get to our inside. Okay, he's pushing up. Not really fighting him that hard. Prefer he just go. If he's faster. Do a big lift off here into three since it was feeling kinda tight anyway. Didn't really want that to happen. I'm not sure how his tires are doing. But he got the nose on me. So I kind of just let that go. He's looking like he's able to get the car yawed out more than me. I'm wondering if maybe I'm missing something with how to save tire here. Okay, Colton, the next car is Neil. Maybe I gassed it up a little bit more late mid to uh, exit of the corner. Maybe we'll get some more turn. Larry's driving away a bit. Still got a bit of a cluster from second to fifth, I think that is. I'm gassing it up a little bit more now. Mid to exit to see if that helps us. Now I'm using some brake on the entry to three as well. 
Was there some contact there? Looks like maybe there was a slight jostling. Seventh position. I've just been my eyes playing tricks on me though. Six going up high line. Interesting. It's almost always going to be harder on the tires. Are we late enough in the race, though, that that's still uh, going to work out for them? I don't know. Sorry, JP. I'm thinking he's getting desperate, though. It looks like maybe he's got less grip. He's just doing what he can to stay on the outside. Hang on out there. Oh man, that car got the car got really tight there. I had dive bomb. Got dive bombed. I hope he didn't wreck. Trying to be patient in the corners, wait till I get on the exit so that way I can get it turned. Good run through there that time. Car inside. Still inside. Wow, why is he holding me so far up the track? That wasn't very nice of him. Let him by earlier and he's gonna repay me by pushing me up the track. Don't really appreciate that, but alright. That's how we're racing, I guess. Noted. Write that one down in my notebook. Thought he wasn't leaving very much room earlier. see we lose like two tenths because we have to enter so high there he just doesn't turn in He's seven and the seven car is coming up on us I think he might have good some good tires Yeah, green down there is right by the white line. Got might got another pass attempt going there. I like the uh, tiny bit of break. Whoa, okay. <laughs> the tiny bit of break into three. I'm liking the, how that's feeling. I think that's doing me favors. Great job. Here to go. You've just done a 32.2. And we get around the nine. Got uh, nine to go. Car outside. It's inside here. He's holding us really tight, as usual. Might just have to make this pass the same way we did earlier. Just work on it gradually. Push him a little wide on entry. Has a little bit of uh, payback, I guess. My attempt there was a little weak. But usually uh, a little wider on entry than I normally would. He's holding on pretty well, though. He might clear us again, it looks like. Do you have to try to pass on the outside? Maybe that's what I'm learning. Keep 
Keep low. Clear. All right, Seven's gonna get a run. He's gonna go outside. Have we learned that you want to be mid mid lane or high lane? Top three wide. Not necessarily what I want to hear. Clear inside. Inside. Still there at the bottom. I'm thinking high lanes come in. We're gonna use our tires up. It's near the end of the race. Clear. This has been a good one. Lots of action, that's for sure. So it's looking like if you're going to be side by side but with someone, you probably want to be on the high side late. That's what I've come to learn. Push, push, push. Larry is just destroying the field right now. He's in a different zip code. Getting some distance from the guys behind as they battle for position. Let me try to back up my corner here. This might be where we end up, though. Not sure if we have much left to make uh, any gains on JP ahead or anything. We're going to try, though. See if we got anything left in the tank. Maybe he'll start trying to pass that neon green car. You've got two laps to go. Two to go. The nine is clear of the seven. Two laps left. Gonna have a run here, maybe. Quite, kind of. I'm gonna go high line probably. And we ended up going kind of middle. Went high there, it was a little bit too high, not really anything up there. Wow, I stunk it up that last lap. Seventh position. Okay, I'm sorry about that, brother. Okay, Alright, this chicken number down. Right. We get P seven. The high lane did not work. I tried to, instead of middle, go high, high lane. <laughs> there was nothing up there, so that was a mistake, but... Good race, good win. Larry dominated. But we get ourselves a nice, solid finish. I'm curious what the tires are. I'm not going to slide them or anything. Yeah, good battle there, man. Uh, I should have let you go, probably. But, and, you know, good battle. Not the protest, Jeremy. That's racing, brother. It's how it goes. How it goes. You didn't have the. You didn't let me go. 65.80. So we could have been more on the right rear, I think. Like Larry. I bet he's finding a way to yaw it out more. 44.80 <laughs> for Chad. Oh no. How did that serve him? Probably not well. Oh man, 23rd. Yeah, tire saving's gonna be a big thing, I think. You can see how much that ended up changing things for him. I don't know, maybe some other things happened too, which we'll see here in a moment.
All right. So I could have been better on the right front, looking at other guys around us. <laughs> Tiger has a family kid. Jacob, if you lift a little bit, you don't drive to the person in front of you and wreck them. Like I said, it was an honest mistake. I'm sorry. I was just trying to carry momentum and misjudged it badly. Sorry about that. Sounds like Jacob accidentally got in the back of uh, the guy in the west corner there. Good. Thought I saw something happen. We'll take a look at it though. We'll see everything that happened, including that thing that didn't happen just then. Oh, there. There's another thing that happened to Chad. He got the wall. That's all the way on lap 28, though. Very clean first half of the race. Along here, that's just a blink. Chad's right front has given up. There's no turn in that thing. Yikes. Speaking of hot wheels, that right front's probably real hot. <laughs> 19, nothing, just a blink. Got Gavin Ropchan in here. I don't even think I noticed he was here, but uh, it's the wall. So he's trying to kind of run that higher line, it looks like. Thirteen gets the wall. And then Jacob just gets the tiniest bit too close. Oh man, that's rough. That sucks. That's a huge bummer for the seven. Whole race and then out of the final corner. Gets touch. Jacob definitely didn't do it on purpose. I'm sure he doesn't feel great about it. It's just uh, this car, man. Any other car, you can probably do that and get away with it, but got the shovel nose here in the Arca car. Just uh, picks him up and throws him to the side. That's how this thing, uh, how this car works. Unfortunate. And then uh, he's unable to keep it out of the racing surface as well. Who was it that got him? 13? Yeah, I feel like the 7 probably could have locked that down better. But... Tough to think about it in the moment, especially when uh, that was probably a very uh, frustrating moment there. I know from experience being wrecked at a very inopportune time, not that there is an opportune time to be wrecked, but <laughs> you get uh, heated and don't think clearly. And then why is Jeremy running over Austin? <laughs> Maybe they're just messing around? I don't know. I heard Austin say, oh, that's a protest. He might have been joking, though. I have no idea. I'm trying to see if anything happened. I'm not seeing anything, though. And we didn't see anything looking through the incidents the first time through. So maybe they're just goofing around. I have no idea. I don't know if they're maybe friends or something. No idea. No clue. But I'm not seeing anything there. Wait. Am I seeing anything here? Hold on a second. No, Austin just passes him. I don't see anything nefarious. Hmm. Yeah, so probably nothing. But that'll do it for this one. We get ourselves a P7, moving ahead one spot overall. And I'll definitely take that. Tough field. Very tough field as always. And, uh, you know, to get P7, I'm, I'm content with that. Especially because I could have done better on my right front. The fact that it didn't uh, make me plummet or anything, I I'm thankful for that. So, solid run. And uh, we will take a look at the race results page. See uh, what we've got going on there. 39-39 strength of field. He had nine splits. Larry gets the win in convincing fashion. Number five, though, gets the fastest lap time. Something to note here. Larry's fastest lap time, 6-7-4. Now, you'll notice... The next person with a slower lap time than, than him, all the way back in ninth. And, uh... That's, that's possibly uh, very insightful. 
he was able to save his tires, still keep speed up. Imagine that had a lot to do with maybe running that low line, getting rotation through the corner, being able to get on the throttle but get the car rotated at the same time. I imagine that's probably how he pulled that off. For us, we'll get P7, 16 I rating gained, and uh, continue to reinforce our A499, 170 championship points. That's a good haul. I'll definitely take that. And uh, you can see the rest of the field right here. So thank you for watching. That's going to do it for this one. Some good old Arca. Enjoyed it. It was a good race. Clean for the most part. That little wreck at the end there. And then uh, a couple other things happened, <laughs> I guess. But overall, no big one like Dover. So that's nice. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.